We're going to talk about Z scores in this video. Now, a Z score will allow us to compare data sets that are measured in different units. A Z score is basically how many standard deviations above or below an average data point is. Look at it this way. Can you compare apples with oranges? Generally speaking, the answer is going to be no. However, if we use the standard deviation as a measure, then we can. Using standard deviation to compare data with different units is called standardizing. By standardizing data, you are calculating the z-score. Standardized values have no units and hence allow you to compare apples with oranges. For any data set, the average z-score will be equal to zero and the standard deviation of the z-score will be equal to one. Any z-score above two or below minus two is an outlier and you can spot outliers this way for further examination. The formula for a z-score is x minus the mean of the data divided by the standard deviation of the data where x is the value that you wish to solve for. You buy apples and oranges. Both of them weigh 12 ounces. In general, the mean weight for apples is 8 ounces with a standard deviation of 12. And in general, the mean weight for oranges is 10.5 ounces with a standard deviation of 1.5. Which is bigger, the apple or the orange? But we're going to do this manually first. So we must standardize the numbers to make a comparison. And we do this using the formula equals x minus the mean of the data divided by the standard deviation. So for apples, this would be 12 minus 8 divided by 2, which is going to give us 2. And for oranges, this would be 12 minus 10.5 divided by 1.5 equals 1. As the z-score for apples is larger, we can simply now say that an apple is larger than an orange. In Excel, this is done by using the standardize function. And let me show you the standardize function in Excel. So it says it returns a no normalized value from a distribution characterized by a mean and a standard deviation. So x is the value we wish to solve for. Our mean in this case is 8 and our standard deviation is 2. And we can see that our z-score is equal to 2. And let me just show you that formula and we can use formula text to view the formula in any cell. And I have already entered that formula in for oranges. So we can see the apple is bigger as it is two standard deviations away from the mean. Whereas the orange is only one standard deviation away from the mean. Now just another point on when you are giving the, when you're actually given standard deviation instead of probabilities in a problem. And we looked at a problem in the last video. And in that video, we looked at using norm dis and norm dot in. So if you are given the standard deviation instead of the probabilities, you need to use norm dot s dot dis or norm dot s dot inv. Now norm dot s dot dis looks for z and then whether it is a cumulative value or not where z is the score and the result is always the area of the curve to the left of that score let's look at that with this prop with this problem is p z score less than 1.25 well we can use the norm dot s dot dis and first of all, it's looking for the z-score. And we're saying a z-score of 1.25. And we're also going to say true because it is cumulative. And we can see that we get 89%. So the probability that the z-score is less than 1.25 is 89%. 
So when you are given the standard deviation, you can use the standard deviation to calculate the z-score and from there calculate your probabilities.